What's going on, guys? The Comics Kid 2099 here, and I want to talk to you about a book that I read somewhat recently. The Strange Talent of Luther Strode. This is a six-issue miniseries from Image Comics by Justin Jordan, Trad Moore, and Felipe Sobrero. I may have mispronounced uh, Sobrero. I'm sorry, Felipe, if you're watching this video. Uh, so, this is a very strange and interesting story. It's the story of Luther Strode, who is uh, the archetypical uh, Peter Parker geek, and he gets picked on by the archetypical uh, Flash Thompson bully, and he sends in for a Charles Atlas ad that you used to see in comic books back in the 60s. It's called something different here, but it's basically the Charles Atlas ad. The one that would say, hey, are you tired of getting sand kicked in your face? Well, you can become jacked like Hercules if you do our six-step program, and then you can defend yourself. And that's what happens here. Uh, he becomes jacked, and then he's able to defend himself. And then his life kind of falls apart. Uh, it doesn't go the way that he wanted at all. Uh, and uh, this is not subtle at all about the whole Charles Atlas thing. In fact, in the foreword at the beginning of the book, Justin Jordan even mentions that this is uh, a callback to those Charles Atlas advertisements, and it's also kind of, it's about other things, uh, but uh, it's definitely not subtle about that, and it's really not subtle about kind of sort of being uh, Spider-Man before he gets his powers. Like, you've got your Peter Parker, you've got your Flash Thompson, you've even kind of got your Mary Jane, although she's quite a bit different from Mary Jane, uh, but you've basically got that status quo before Peter gets his powers. And then, after he gets his powers, uh, instead of a spider bite, it's a magazine ad, but after he gets his powers, then uh, everything's different. A whole new ball game. And uh, my one, I don't want to know, I don't know if I would call it a complaint, but my one thing that I did feel about this book after I was finished reading it, I was thinking, this is a lot of origin stuff. If this was a movie, everyone would be complaining because almost the whole thing is origin story for our hero. It's how he got these powers. And you might be saying, well, how he got his powers is pretty simple. He sent in for an ad and he followed the six-step program or whatever. And that's true. At the beginning of the book, you're thinking, okay, it just kind of, uh, he gets his powers from the Charles Atlas ad and that's the end of it. But then at the end of this book, uh, there's another character who kind of explains the backstory of the Charles Atlas ads, and it's very interesting. It's some very interesting stuff. Uh, I didn't see it coming. Uh, it's uh, some unusual stuff, but at the end of the story, I was thinking, okay, this feels like it's set up for more, and I didn't know this when I was reading it, but there is actually a sequel to the story uh, called, uh, I think, The Unusual Luther Strode, or The Interesting Luther Strode, something like that. The Legend of Luther Strode, or The Legendary Luther Strode, uh, and that's the sequel to this story. I have not read that story, so I don't know uh, if it's any good or not, but I do know that when you're reading this story it is not a standalone story. You don't just read this and you don't come away from it satisfied with what you get. It definitely feels like they're stringing you on and they're preparing you for more adventures with this guy because the story just kind of ends, and I'm going to be getting a little bit into spoilery stuff here. Uh, the story just kind of ends with Luther's life has fallen apart. Uh, spoilers, uh, his mom is dead, his best friend is dead, his girlfriend is not dead, but uh, she's definitely, her life is ruined too just by kind of being in proximity to Luther. And then, uh, he maybe kills the bad guy who has kind of been uh, manipulating him throughout this entire book, or maybe the bad guy survived, because we see that bad guy survive a lot of stuff, and then Luther maybe kills him. So I'm not really sold on that bad guy actually being dead or not. But uh, we find out the bad guy actually got his powers from uh, the same uh, source as Luther Strode did, more or less. And he works for Cain, the original murderer. Cain from the Bible, uh, Old Testament guy, brother of Abel, that guy. Uh, this bad guy works for Cain and is basically, his whole motivation is he's trying to turn Luther into a murderer. He says, okay, you have all of these powers. Instead of trying to be a hero, you should be a bad guy like me. You should use your powers for evil. And uh, this guy is a lot more powerful than Luther. Well, actually, uh, he says that Luther has more power, but he doesn't know how to use it. And so this guy is stronger than Luther in that regard. And uh, it's a very interesting way uh, for the villain and the hero to kind of be connected to each other, because most of the time in superhero comics, you have a bad guy who is minding his own business. He may be doing something bad, but he's minding his own business, and then the hero puts a stop to his plan, and then from that day forward, the bad guy's new motivation is, I'm going to get that hero because he put a stop to my evil plan. Uh, here, uh, Luther doesn't even know about this dude. This dude is going out of his way trying to ruin Luther's life so that Luther won't feel like he has 
any other option other than joining this dude. And Luther kind of takes a third option. It's like, okay, you're going to kill my mom and my best friend. Uh, I'm not going to join you. Uh, I'm just going to go out there and kind of lose my mind. And he kills this guy. And then uh, at the end of the story, it's kind of like uh, the end of the Dark Knight, where it's like, okay, they're all going to hunt me down. But you know what? They can't do anything to me. They can't hurt me. I'm invincible. I got super strength. I'm just going to go out there. Uh, they can hunt me down if they want to for the murder of all these people. Uh, it doesn't really matter. And in that regard, this book just kind of stops. And when I was finished reading it, I was like, there has got to be a sequel for this something because it really doesn't feel like a complete story. It feels like the end of Act 1 for a larger tapestry or something like that. And I was partly right. There is a sequel. I don't know if it's going to be like a three-act story or if it's just going to be an indefinite number of stories featuring this character in this world. But uh, when you're reading this, I enjoyed it quite a bit. It is very gory, very graphic, more so than almost anything from Image Comics that I've seen before. Uh, and that's something that uh, somewhat recently has kind of... Um kind of surprised me a little bit. You've got like Rat Queens and you've got Luther Strode. Uh, those stories are quite a bit more uh, intense than what I'm used to seeing from Image Comics. Uh, I know Image is not like Marvel or DC where they have to have more of a wholesome image, pun intended, uh, but you got like those stories like Rat Queens and Luther Strode, which were, they're almost like Vertigo level books, like really, really bloody and lots of full frontal and stuff like that, that you're not expecting in an Image Comics book. Uh, so if that kind of stuff bothers you, you probably don't want to pick this book up. But as far as the story itself, I did enjoy it quite a bit, but by the time I was done reading it, I was like, wait a minute, that's it? It just stops. It just kind of ends. And I'm happy to find out that there is a volume two. I don't know when I'll get around to reading it, uh, but I am happy to see that there's going to be more of this world because it does feel like Justin Jordan and Travis Moore and uh, Felipe, uh, it does feel like they are really just spending their time setting up this world. And that would feel like a huge waste of space and time if they weren't going to do a sequel to explore this world after they've set it up. And I'm really looking forward to seeing more of this world in the sequel. Uh, I don't know when I'll get around to it, but I'm looking forward to that. Uh, so uh, that is uh, basically all that I have to say about uh, The Strange Talent of Luther Strode. I thought it was a pretty good book. Uh, I'm curious what you guys thought of it. If you've read it, if you have read it, uh, tell me about it in the comments below. And uh, if you liked this video, be sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the future with some other videos. In the meantime, I'll see you guys later. Have a great rest of the day.